Good morning, and today we are speaking with uh, 2023 graduate Dr. Kurthy. And I am Scott Harrell with UMHS. And Dr. Uh, Kurthy, um, you recently matched in uh, general surgery at Detroit Medical Center, and I want to uh, thank you. Um, I want to thank you for speaking with us and wish you good morning and also graduate congratulations. And can you just uh, tell us a little bit about um, your upcoming match and how awesome it must feel to uh, be starting a match this summer in general surgery? Thank you, Scott. Yes, it still feels very surreal, definitely. <laughs> I think until I actually start, I won't believe it. <laughs> but I'm very excited to be returning to Detroit. I did my third year and a few of my fourth year rotations in Michigan, so I am familiar with the area. So very excited to be going back. And yes, you're right. I will be starting at DMC Sinai Grace um, this coming July for general surgery there in their categorical program. Okay. And for some of our uh, current and prospective students that may be a little unfamiliar with general surgery, can you just in a nutshell explain what a general what a general surgery residency entails? Yeah, for sure. So there's a few different programs. They span from about five to seven years. So with that, you can have one to two years of research built into the curriculum. My program is a five-year program. Research, I do enjoy it. However, for me, it wasn't a priority to have that built in into my curriculum. So I was looking more for like a five or six-year program. And so at DMC Santa Grace, it is a five-year program. Aside from that, there are different types of surgery residencies. You can do a prelim, which is say you're not 100% sure if surgery is what you want to do, or um, sometimes you start off as a prelim, which is preliminary year in general right. surgery. Yeah. And then you can, um, if surgery is definitely what you want to do, you can reapply for a categorical position. Excellent. And uh, what are some of your long and short-term goals for your residency offhand? Good question. So short-term <laughs> short -term goals, I guess, for Vive is my number one goal. It is definitely a tedious residency, but I'm excited. One thing about DMC Santa Grace is the culture is so great. And I think that's definitely something when you're looking for a residency program that's important. It's the culture. You want it, you're going to be spending a lot of time, several hours with your co-residents. So having a place where you know your co-residents are supportive and want you to be the best version of yourself is important. And that's what really drew me to this program. But in terms of long-term goals, I, I always wanted to do a fellowship in trauma critical care, but because DMC Santa Grace is such a trauma heavy center already, I'm not sure if that's something that I'll still end up doing. I think maybe uh, for sure I'll do a fellowship, but I'm just not particularly sure in what as of yet, but I have five years to figure that out. Um, I also definitely want to do something in the medical education realm after mm -hmm. I just had four months here at UMHS being able to teach anatomy and I love teaching and I've been a teaching assistant for about 11 semesters definitely teaching is something that interests me so in some format I'd love to maybe pursue a master's in medical education or just somehow incorporate that in my future career so that's definitely something that interests me as well. Excellent and I understand that you are originally from Canada and um what it, can you tell us uh, a little bit about what it, you like the most about being a Canadian studying medicine abroad at UMHS? Well, what can I say? In Canada, we have four seasons and a very gloomy <laughs> winter. <laughs> and here I get to wake up every day and look at the sun. It's definitely surreal doing medical school on an island, but I, I loved it. I loved being at UMHS and I loved meeting the people that I met. I definitely met some lifelong friends, whether from Puerto Rico, from the U.S., from Nigeria, Zimbabwe. It was I've made a lot of good friends here and the camaraderie here. I think it's just been such a supportive community, though. It's a small community. I loved being at UMHS. Right. Great. And is there anything else that you'd like to tell current and prospective students or alumni about being at UMHS that we haven't covered? Ooh, another good question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'd like to say that being somewhere where the where the teachers really believe in you and want you to to succeed is is amazing. It's a small school and it's a small community, but having your teachers notice you and know your name and whether you say you missed the day of class, they notice. I think just having that relationship with your teachers is such a unique but such an amazing, 
amazing thing to have. So I think that is definitely one of the advantages of UMHS and its small class sizes is that relationship you can truly form with your teachers. And it's really nice because when you get to your rotation, sometimes it can be intimidating talking to attendings, but you're familiar talking to teachers on the island. So a little less nervous to talk to your attendings during rotations. Right. So you get you really get that personalized attention at UMHS mm -hmm. and the small classes, the one on one with the professors and the other faculty. And also, I know the Ross family, President Ross is very involved and visits the island often. And for sure, during orientation, he comes on our catamaran trip. And I mean, where else would you ever have that happen? Yeah. And I know that like anytime there's a problem or whatever, I know uh, you can reach out to President Ross or one of somebody else in the Ross family, and they will respond immediately if, or so I've heard. <laughs> For sure, 100%. Okay, all right. Um, and is there anything else that you'd like to add that we haven't covered today? Uh, nothing, I think that's all. And to everyone who's looking to match next year, good luck. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We at UMHS, we're definitely a family and that doesn't mean when we graduate, we're not a part of that family anymore. So I think just there's that network out there and you're not alone. So you have a support system. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, I wanna thank you so much for your time today, Dr. Kurthy, and I wish you the best of luck in your upcoming residency, okay? Thank you, Scott.